hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jay and if you're new please hit, make sure you hit that red rectangle right button which is down below right here followed by the post notification bell so notified you every time i drop a video and if you're a turn subscriber hey welcome back please continue to subscribe because i got us uh, more for you hopefully y'all can see me because like i said my tripod is acting up but yeah in today's video what i'm going to be talking about is um the community posts i was sitting here a few days ago and youtube on twitter i got a notification that they had updates when i saw the updates i was like eh, i already know about this but i didn't know about the rest of them i only know about one of them um one of them that i know about is the scheduling but yeah before i get into all that uh what just in case you all don't know what the community post is community post is something that you could post it's just like a regular post, like a status post or like a tweet or something, basically. Let's just say it like a tweet. And you can let your uh, subscribers know that you have a new video. You could engage with your subs that way you have a new video. You can do question and answer there. Uh, ask some questions. Be like, oh, what do you want for my next video or something. That's how you can interact with your subs in another way. Like, because they took out the messaging box, so... Community posts is a good way to communicate with your subs, but it's not really effective. Not to everybody with me. It used to be. I should have. You know what I should have done? I should have used it when I first got it. Because when I first got it and I was posting, people were actually commenting on there, talking to me. I didn't even know, to be honest. I didn't even know because I didn't use it. Because there was two things on there. There used to be. Because you have to have 100 subs just to get this community post. But I remember there's two there's two of them. So if you don't have 100, if you don't have 1K, sorry. If you don't have 1K subs, you don't get this community post. There's like another community post. It's just like a, uh, I forgot what it's called. It was just like, y'all who know what I'm talking about, who's been on YouTube for like, let's just say for the past three, four years, know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Hmm. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, so yeah, um. Y'all who've been on YouTube before they made this update. I don't know if it's still there. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong if it's still there. Once you don't have 1K subs, there's a thing where you can still communicate. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. My neighbors upstairs are so ridiculous and rude. But let me get into... Let me let me get to recording. I'm sorry. It, it just irritates me. You can't even talk to them. But, um... This is what I have to deal with every day, y'all. Every day. Hey! Hey! Clearly that doesn't help. I'm just wasting. But anyways, if you don't have one K subs, um, there's still a way you can communicate. It should you just make a post and then you communicate with them. Like you could just say, "Yeah, hey, how's everybody doing?" Whatever. You can't post images or anything. It's just like a conversation. It's just like a forum. That's basically what it looks like. I don't know if they still have it. So wh whoever's under 1K subs, let me know if y'all still have that. If y'all don't, I'm sorry. YouTube be changing everything every week, every day, every year. You already know. So yeah, they made updates to it. Uh, yeah, I should have been using it from before, but I haven't. I didn't want to use it anymore, but people are like, you should, you should use it. This is a way to interact with your subs, and all. I'm like, hey, fine. And it's been helping me lately because some people said they don't even get notifications that because they have my bell on. They don't have notification. They didn't get notification saying that um I dropped a new video. So this um what is it called? This community tab has been helping them because as soon as I post on that, bam. So yeah, they have a new thing that you schedule. I didn't even know. But before I get into that, let me read to you what the latest. Let me screen record what the latest thing is so this is it right here as y'all can see but let me show y'all the community tab first because y'all are going to be like what so this is the community tab right here so okay 
Why does it look blurry or is it just me? This is the community tab right here. I don't know why it shows my video, but you could just post. And then yeah, it does the subtitles. This is all brand new to me, it does the subtitles, but let's just let me just get into this thing. Okay. So the community manager posted this three days ago. So it, don't worry, everything is gonna be down in the description so y'all can read for yourself. But let's just get into the video. And then it says, Hi creators, community post allows you to post text. Uh, images or polls on your channel and are a good way to interact with your fans. Today we're excited to introduce three new features that will make it easier than ever to connect with your community community via post. Now I only did polls two times. It worked, it didn't work, only a few people voted. That's why I'm just sticking to um, posting up that I have a new video but let me get into it. So they have a new meteoric is a meteoric meteorics on YouTube analytics so for that it says we introduce our first two post meteorics in YouTube analytics impressions and engagement rate so you could see how many times your post was showing how your fans are responding to it and use this to guide your posting strategy I mean I did see it that was when they were in beta. When I say they're in beta, they were still launching it. Now I can't even find it. Maybe because I'm not looking hard enough. I'm not looking like how I'm supposed to. I just came across that last time. I just bumped into it and I was like, what is this or whatever. And then I saw I was playing with them. I'm like, ah, whatever. But people seen it. It showed me. When I looked at it, it showed me that um, since I posted something on my community post saying that I have a new video a lot of people seen I'm like okay cuz I was thinking I'm like I thought nobody really seen it I thought it was just a few people because I get a few likes but nah a lot of people see that but they just don't click on my video hmm mm. but um yeah I like that though because you want to see whether or not people are looking at your community post or not this is like the same thing about your analytics you're basically your videos okay your analytics is your key to go to see everything then the next one that they have is post multiple in images from your phone I like that because I remember before you only could post one at a time now it says multiple I haven't tried it cuz there's no need but I could I could make a post with images now I don't know but yeah, you can now make your post more dynamic by posting up to five images to your post. Five? That, that's not bad. Five. Instead of only one, the feature is now available on Android devices and will be bringing it to iOS later. <laughs> Why does iOS always get everything late? Because I heard the iOS get everything late because it's just easier to do everything on Android and then bring it into, over to iOS. But Still, like, iOS is on top. I know y'all Android people are going to come for me, but I'm sorry. Apple. Apple, okay? We don't do Android here. Apple. But yeah, I'm not going to hate y'all. Y'all have some better features better than iPhone, and iPhone has better features. So, both of them are good, okay? But I still rock with the iPhone, all right? <laughs> And then it says schedule posts to save you time when sharing content. You can schedule your posts for later. Functionality was already available on desktop and Android, and now we're rolled out on iOS. Rolled out on iOS devices too, so it was never on iPhone. Mm -mm. That's probably why I seen it, but I'm like, I did see it on desktop too. But I like that. I need to start using. It. I haven't used it. So y'all comment down below if y'all use the what is it called? The community post schedule thing, I haven't. I should start using it, but I'm so used to doing it manually. And then it says, as a reminder, community posts, community posts are available to legible creators with over a thousand subscribers, and it will take up to one week to see the community tab after passing the threshold. Yeah, because some people are complaining. I just passed it, and I'm like, yeah, because now. They don't just give it to you right away before. Like when I first got mine, I didn't even know I had it. Once once I got it right away, I got it. Like it took a few hours or so or whatever. And then I got it. Boom. And all. I didn't even know. And then some of my subs are like, oh, you have 1K now. That means you have the community post. I'm like, huh? They're like, yeah, you have the community post. You should use it. I'm like, mm, I don't want it. Like, nah, you should use it. 
But yeah, let me show you how the community post look like. This is it right here. It says post an update to your fans. So schedule. This is what I need to do. And then make it public. You can make it all channel members. Channel members. I just I didn't enable it yet. I just put the thing. But y'all comment down below if you want to see all that the for like monetized channels and all, but I haven't done that. I haven't I haven't enabled super chat and all. It's crazy. But um not super chat. Is it super chat? Yeah, something like that. And then basically this is it. And then I can edit, I can delete. So this is it. It shows me my videos. Nobody commented on yet. People don't comment on my stuff. I just post. It just shows you your views. To be honest, you know what I didn't know when I started using the community post? What I used to do was, um, I'm funny. What I used to do was I created my post and I copied the link of my um, URL. Then I made the post. I didn't know that there was a shortcut to it. I was like, I'm always doing the long way. But it's better to do the long way and the hard way first before you go to the shortcut. And then you can see who dislike whatever and then you can share it. So a lot of people, not a lot of people, I had some subs who shared my post. So that's what they would do. They would press that share and then they write something. Then you can mention the channel. I like that. And then, yeah. Oh, somebody pressed like on that. Thank you, whoever pressed the like on that. And then that was it. But, um, let me show you. So, like, here. Here's my 30-minute playlist. I still have playlists so y'all can see. So, when I, once I press share. Oh, so after, since you're on your community post, you see how there's lines or whatever? I was just going through and it see how it's just automatically playing because YouTube once you're scrolling through it automatically plays but it's playing on mute so it automatically counted that I was playing my videos if you guys get what I mean y'all see right here so it says here I press that tab I press share and then I press create posts then automatically I write whatever I have to write over here and then oh you can't even press that Right, that's what I do. I write whatever I have to write here, and then that's the video right there. It took my video automatically for me. That's a shortcut. I didn't even know when I was taking a long way. Then I can schedule. I'm going to start using this. I don't know if I'm going to use it today. Schedule for whatever day, the time, my time zone. It says local GMT. That's not my time, though, but it says local time. I should change it to Toronto. Oh, it's the same thing if it says, because mine, over here, where's Toronto? It says minus four. So, it's the same thing. I'm going I'm to leave it, because that's what YouTube put it at, right? And then after you're done, you press done, and then that's it. And then you can make it public, so everyone can see, or your channel members. So, yeah. Then I can disregard, and then that's it. That's that. Okay, let's create a post. So yeah, if you want to create a post, you press this, and then you press create a post, and then images. So there's the poll right there. If you guys want to add the poll, I haven't. I only did it twice. I don't remember. You can add the poll right here. Uh, so let me go and see my um, analytics. So you go to channel dashboard. I'm gonna block all this up because I don't want y'all see my information. I'm just that private. Okay. I hope you understand. So you just as soon as you go to the creator studio tab well it's called creator Stu studio depending on what you're using or yeah isn't it creator studio or youtube studio okay and then right here it says latest latest post so your latest post you can press that and then it says go to community tab it says likes whatever yeah nope I think you have to use this on desktop because it's not showing me how many comments or how many people viewed it. It's not showing like how I seen it before. But um yeah. That's the new update that they have for um the community tab. Come y'all comment down below if y'all use the community tab. I just use it to post uh that I have a new video. I try to interact with you guys, but only some of y'all answered or interacted, so it's okay. I understand. It's just an extra step. Yeah, y'all comment down below and let me know if you use the community tab. And if you do use the community tab, what do you use it for? Or you don't use it at all? If you don't use it at all, I don't blame me because it's not it's not bumping like how it used to be bumping. It used to be it used to be bumping, bumping. Like I'm telling you, I used to be on it a lot, but then yeah. 
But obviously for big creators, they still use it. Some of them still comment on it, like the fans or whatever, and then the creator themselves. They don't really go back and check. But yeah, that's my video for today for uh, the community post. I hope you guys like this video, understood. And I hope you guys use, after this, I hope you guys use the community tab more. And if you don't, it's okay, I understand, because everything keeps changing. So, yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!